What's up guys, this is Yankees9276 and we are doing a creative video today and we are going to build a barn because there's been a new update with horses and donkeys and a lot more great stuff so let's get started okay so what you're going to need is wooden doors fence fence gate red wool white wool and black wool and to start off you're gonna make a red outline so what you're gonna do is go out by ten one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And do nine on the side. Nine. And nine more. And then just fill in the last side nine more. So it's ten by ten by ten. And then what you're going to do is cut out two spots for the door because you're going to need a way to get in and then you can move on to the wall alright so what you're going to need for your wall is red wool and go up by five and you're going to make all around five layers just do that all around with the wall until you're done and then we can start cutting out the windows Okay, when you're done with the wall, it should look like this. And then you can move on to the windows. So what you'll need is white wool. And some glass pane. Or glass box is fine. But what you're going to do now is cut out two right here. And two right there. And then you're going to go one out from the side of the wall. And make a double window right here and a double window right there and you're gonna do the same over here so one two one two one two one two and once you're done with that you're gonna fill in the windows with glass pane so get your glass pane and go up to and fill in the floor all around okay so now that you're done with the windows we can start the roof in black wool so get your black wool and make an overhang like this and do it on both sides go up by one go up by one put one right here but break it and it's gonna be a triangle formed roof so you're gonna do the same on the other side cut the middle one out fill it through and once you're done with that you're gonna have to fill in some of this so you're not gonna be able to have an open wall on the top floor so once you're done it'll be all centered and then we can start the stables in the bottom floor of the barn okay so once you're done with the roof it'll look like that but you can't really see it it's too dark we'll see it later though but i just added some light so it's getting dark or when it's dark it'll be light so i got my oak wood fence and fence gate for the stable so now what you're going to do is go out by four. One, two, three, four. Leave two open for the gate. Go back four. Leave this spot open. Put in your gates. And go up by two or three. And put a little roof on the top. Go up by three. Put a roof on the top and then just put another roof right here and you have a good little stable for your horse 
And you can do the same thing on the other side, so I'll do that now. Go up by three, across, across, fill it in, put a roof, and there's another stable. So now you have two stables, and once you're done with that, we can add horses and make the top floor. Okay, so while you were gone, I just added a little seating area on a crafting table, and we can work on the upstairs now. So I'll just get my potion of night vision so I can see and you can see better. And what I'm gonna do is get my oak wood, align it here just to make sure I can jump still, and line it up with the stables. Make a nice roof. Or if you wanted to, just make it a little bit higher. I'll do that just so you can actually go on the top right here. So I'm going to make a roof right here. This isn't as hard as all the other things we're going to do. So I'll just cut out the video and I'll come back once I'm done with the roof so I'll see you in a little bit and we're back and as you can see I finished the roof and what you're gonna get now is your ladders and just make it up very simple cut out a block now you can climb up and since it's super super dark in here we're gonna make a window so It'll be a window by four, so just do it four and twice up, like that, and do the same on the other side. Add some torches, and some glass pane. Glass pane, torches, and since it's still very hard to see, I'm gonna get some glowstone and go up at the top. It's just that the black wool makes it seem really dark, but you can't really see it. So I just added this glowstone so it's somewhat easier and Anyway, since this is kind of cut off right here and you can't walk right here, just fill it in, just to make it look even. And now what you're going to do, since this is a barn, is add your hay bale to feed the horses. So, once you're done with the roof and the ladder, we'll move on to the hay bales. Okay, welcome back. So, as you can see, we finished. And... We're going to add the hay bales now, so what you're going to do is just, just lie them around. Just, it just looks like a barn that way. Just like, just throw them anywhere you want. Some in the corners. Stacked up. Just all around. Just makes it look more barn-like. And once you're done with that, We'll move on to the downstairs. So we'll go downstairs now. And what we're gonna do is get your item frames and put one right here, one right here. Get a saddle and any horse armor you choose. I'll just use diamond. I'll get another one for the second stable because we're gonna be doing the same thing. Just add your saddle and your horse armor and get here. 
a sign and just put a name for your horse. I'll just put a random name, first thing that comes to my mind. And you can do the same on the other side. So get your item frame. Saddle horse armor. And a name. Bear with me for a minute, just typing in. I just want you to see what this looks like. There you have the stables. And now we can add the horses. Alright, now as you can see, I've already spawned a horse, but you're going to need a horse spawn egg now. Name tag, and anvil. And this is all part of the update, folks. So, to tame a horse, you hit LT. It'll jump off occasionally, and you'll know when it's tamed, when there's all hearts around. As you see, it's going to keep saying LT to tame. You just have to wait until the horse likes you. So, once you've tamed the horse, you can add the saddle if you want, and the horse armor. But, I'll keep it in the item frame. So, I'll be right back once I tame both of them. As you can see, I've named one of the horses with the name tag. So what you do is you just go in the end build and type in a name with your controller. I already typed in the second one just to show you and then you hit LT and you, and it worked. As you can see, the horse's name popped up. And you can do it on all mobs, dogs, cats, horses, donkeys, anything you want. And I did forget to tell you one thing. Without a saddle, you can't control it, but you can control it with the lead. So if you want to, just add one more item frame and just put a lead on it. It's kind of like a leash for the horse, and you can use it on any mobs, just like the name tags. So once you're done with that, you are all done with the inside of the barn, and you can work on the outside of the barn. The outside of the barn's pretty easy. I'm just gonna show you anyway. I just went back by ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you're just gonna go nine across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And fill in one more right here by nine. And just put two fence gates. Right here, and right here, you can get in either way, and just stack some hay bales, right here, so the horses can eat outside too, and then you're all done with the barn. It appears we've run out of time for this video. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and please leave a thumbs up and a comment is always appreciated. And please leave a comment if you want a new texture pack, or if you want us to build something new. And this will be a two-part episode, because we'll be building more stuff and adding stuff to the barn, because it'll be a farm. So, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.